Hey, how's it going? Dylan here with a quick uh, update to cinematic lens flares, which is being pushed to the marketplace uh, right now. So it should be available when you see this video. Just a little update based on some feedback and uh, some uh, usability improvements uh, here. So um, what we've got here is now instead of just two materials, usually you get uh, just the BP controlled version, which is controlled by the blueprint, which is my preferred way of using it. Uh, and also your master material, which is a uh, material instance based setup um, that you can use if you want to. I've added a bunch of new base materials uh, just for ease of use. So obviously at the moment, uh, this does everything at full resolution. So uh, performance can be quite heavy, especially when using high samples or high resolutions. Um, you know, you can get, I mean, I've had situations sometimes where it uh, gets right up to like a 50 millisecond cost. Uh, for the flares, um, which is very high. Um, usually for rendering though, that's offline rendering, especially path tracing, that's ne ne negligible. Um, so it really is for more editor use uh, being an annoyance. So um, I've got uh, now a low quality version of both the master, like the, the um, material instance version and the BP controlled version. So this is the standard one here. Um, if we jump into the post-process volume and we swap over to the low quality, you can see we lose our, essentially what's happening is the low quality version doesn't use any bokeh blur samples. Um, so we don't get any of the blur, um, but you do get a bit of a representation of kind of where the, uh, where the ghosts will be. Um, so this is, uh, this is, is about double performance of, um, or half the cost of the non-anamorphic blur version. So it, um, it's much smoother to work around in the editor. Um, good for, I guess, preview renders and things like that. And then when you go for the final, um, you can uh, use the uh, full version to have like the nice blurring of, of, the, um, of the ghosts. Now what I've also added is a lens glints BP controlled. So that's just the lens glints. This is based on feedback and requests. Um, this one is actually quite fast. This is just the glints. So no halo, no ghosts. Um, this one here, the cost can be very, very low um, for, for this kind of stuff. Still not quite uh, real-time friendly for games. Uh, you could probably fit it in there uh, with a bit lower samples and such. But uh, this one, you know, costs about around uh, two to four milliseconds on my machine, on my 7900 XTX. Um, so it's very fast, you know, easily goes way above 60 FPS. I hope you enjoy the little update. I am working on behind the scenes, a proper real-time based or uh, solution, um, which will be using like doing things at lower resolutions in blur stages and such. So hopefully you can look forward to that in the future. Not sure how long it will take, maybe a couple of months, but hope you enjoy this in the meantime. And that's all from me. Thanks again. Enjoy.